Aloha. This is Jacob Pompeo tuning in from Colorado. And this is going to be my first Taoist Monday video where we will discuss the Tao Te Ching and its practices and how we can apply these writings into our life. First, I want to explain what the Tao is. The Tao Te Ching was wrote hundreds, if not a thousand years ago, by a man named Lao Tzu. Lao Tzu was known across the kingdom of the time for being one of the wisest men of his generation. He was also renowned for riding an ox, or some say a buffalo. However, uh, the depictions of him, it looks like he was riding an ox. Um, that was his transportation of choice. Now, he was going to leave his people behind and move into the woods and become a forest dweller. However, the guards of the town had stopped him and said that you can't leave. You know too much. You know everything. If you left, we would know nothing. And so they asked him or demanded for him to write down all of his knowledge into a book. And that is allegedly how the Tao Te Ching has come to be. <clears throat> it's a little cold out here. I'm out here, it's probably 10 degrees out this morning. And as customary, I like to be barefooted as much as possible, build up my resiliency to the elements. Let's go ahead and read the first page of the Tao and see if I can provide some insight for you on what it means. At least uh, how I relate this knowledge into my own life. Chapter one, the Tao that can be told is not the eternal Tao. The name that can be named is not the eternal name. The unnameable is the eternal real. Naming is the origin of all particular things. Free from desire, you realize the mastery caught in desire. You see only the manifestations, yet mastery and manifestations arise from the same source. This source is called darkness. Darkness within darkness, the gate to all understanding. So to go back to, and that was all just one page. The Tao that can be told is not the eternal Tao. The name that can be named is not the eternal name. I'll stop with that and explain so we like to name and associate pronouns and nouns, descriptions, and all sorts of various word jargon to things. But in reality, there's only the experience of the moment to try to name and break everything down. You really destroy the picture of what is. So, for example, the sunrise is happening behind me here. However, to call it the sunrise really depreciates all of this that's happening. There's clouds, there's sun, there's mountain line, tree line, birds chirping, blue sky. There's all these different colors. There's so much happening within this one sunrise. And to break it down into words really, really... Uh, takes away from the grand picture of things, such as when we talk about God, we like to say God. And in reality, God is so much of everything that exists, every little aspect in the universe that has any substance, every tree, every rock, every piece of light and air, 
all of that makes up God or the Tao. And that is our creator source. Our creator source is the Tao, the mother. <clears throat> the unnameable is eternally real. They're trying to, again, break down what is God. Naming is the origin. So instead of saying God is the origin, the reality is that God didn't come into creation until we gave him a name. Or the Tao didn't come into creation until we gave her a name. Before that, it just was. It just is. There is no reason to try and dissect with our words what God is. Just accept and know. From desire, you realize the mystery. Caught in desire, you see only the manifestations. So when you are blinded by desire, you will not find what you're looking for. You will only find more desire. As soon as you obtain that which you have desired, then the black hole just grows. As soon as you eat a piece of candy that you've desired all day, now you want another piece of candy. It's not the candy that you were looking for. It's the chasing of desire that you were actually enjoying. Yet mystery and manifestations arise from the same source. This source is called darkness. Darkness within darkness. The gate to all understanding. And to me, this means that there's a shadow self to all of us. Just as we desire, we have dark intentions with some of our desires. And the darkness only breeds more darkness. You cannot find light through seeking desire and the fulfillment therein. You must understand that there's darkness within darkness and not chase it. Just accept it for what it is and learn how to deal with the desires that you have in a way that fosters growth instead of gluttony. And so that is page one of the Tao Te Ching. Many ways to pronounce it. You can pronounce this book Tao Te Ching or Tao Te Jing. And uh, I'd say everyone's correct because there is no incorrect. You know, words are limitations. And, and in the Taoist culture, we seek to be free from all limitation. And mostly our limitations come from within, not without. So I look forward to seeing you all in our next video. And until then, aloha.